Question of the Week from the Naked Scientists. Hello and welcome to Question of the Week. I'm James Titko. This week, Gary writes in to ask, Suppose I build a time machine that can transport me one decade, one century or one millennium into the past or future. Would I, with all my typical 2023 bacteria, viruses, antigens, etc., landing in an urban setting, become the starting point for an epidemic? Or would I quickly die to pathogens that are not common today? Wow, what a question. Definitely going to need some help for this one. And that's why I've enlisted Dr. Brian Ferguson, immunologist from the University of Cambridge. Take it away, Brian. It's a great question, Gary. I would have thought going forwards in time, you are likely to have little impact on others, as you are unlikely to be right now carrying a pathogen that's untreatable in the future. If you were to go back in time somewhere prior to 1940, however, you might well be the cause of an outbreak, as long as you assume you end up in a densely populated urban area. This is because the people you will meet are not likely to be immune to one or more of the pathogens you are now carrying. For example, flu or SARS or rhinoviruses, etc. Think about the devastating impact of the Eurasian infections on Native American people during the colonial period, wiping out 90% of the population. But that still leaves us with the impact on the time-travelling individual themselves, Brian. Well, if you go forward in time far enough, it's also possible that you will catch a disease that has not yet jumped into humans, but is circulating in the population at the exact time you land or arrive. Although you would probably have to be quite unlucky for that to happen. Similarly, if you go back far enough, say more than 100 years, you may be unlucky enough to catch and potentially die of smallpox, as you're not likely to be vaccinated against that. This is all assuming our traveller is up to date on all the jabs we're provided by modern medicine. Exactly. If you remove medicine as a variable and you assume no one is vaccinated against anything and there aren't any hospitals, etc., then all bets are off. In this hypothetical scenario, whether you go back in time or forward in time, you're likely to suffer from something nasty that you catch when you land and you may well spread something you are currently carrying into an immune-naive population. In that sense, you would be the time-travelling version of Patient Zero. So there you have it, Gary. With great power comes great responsibility, it seems. Next time, we'll be answering this question from listener Akula. Can we compress gas into a solid? Join us next time to find the answer. If you'd like to send your own question in, we'd love to hear it. Send it along to chris at nakedscientists.com. Question of the Week is part of the Naked Scientists podcast and supported by the Wellcome Trust and UK Fast. Look us up online at nakedscientists.com.